Hello, my name is Chanak Balchak. I'm one of the horticulturalists at Chanak Cliff Garden. I take care of the native plant garden, uh, which is a woodland garden called the Bells Woods. And um, the group of native plants that uh, we we'll specifically focus on today is the uh, spring ephemerals. So we're looking to uh, dividing and growing trilliums as well as uh, perhaps a sarum. We're starting our trillium adventure with trillium grandiflorum, which is uh, one of the bigger um, native trilliums that grow in our area. This plant is perhaps 10 years old, so uh, started with a single single uh, plant, and uh, you now we see multiple plants and flowering very uh, profusely. So uh, some people would perhaps be horrified to what we're about to do, but we will dig it out and divide it. And um, there's some ideas that dividing it at when they start to go dormant uh, is prefer preferable. Um, from my experience, you can do it almost at any time and uh, they can handle it quite well. They might wilt a little bit, but with the big stores of energy in the rhizomes, they can recover quickly and then we'll have multiple new clumps starting soon. So we'll proceed to dig it up. So these are nice and healthy plants and uh, they will start their own clumps very soon. We ended up with about uh, 15 plants and um, now we can divide them and out of the one clump we'll perhaps end up with a drift or or start multiple new new clumps. So uh, we're gonna not replant those. Uh, one thing is they might wilt a little bit. Uh, so good time to do it is on a cool and perhaps overcast day. Watering is important, that settles the soil around the roots and uh, will prevent them from drying out. This is Trillium recurvatum, which is a prairie trillium. Um, very handsome model leaf, uh, the flowers are red on them. These, uh, This is actually one of the easier ones to grow. They will seed in readily and uh, it can multiply quite quickly. The seedlings of uh, Trillium uh, are quite distinct. so. Once you learn what they look like, they're easy to spot. So this is a first year seedling of uh, Trillium recurvatum, and then uh, second or third and up to probably fourth year and then to blooming size soon after. And uh, one thing to do is you can dig them out at this size and all of these and uh, move them with a pot them up and grow them in pots that would uh, with no competition and better growing conditions, they'll bulk up quite quickly. Or put them in a raised bed or a uh, growing bed where, again, no competition, better soil, they would uh, improve uh, in size faster. The serum canadensis, it's a very uh, nice native ground cover. Uh, persistent, it lasts all summer and uh, it spreads easily from uh, running on the surface uh, and also seeds in. We found some flowers of Acerum. So, uh, as I mentioned earlier, they're actually laying on the ground. And the reason for that is they're actually pollinated by slugs, which is kind of unusual. And uh, so often they come uh, unnoticed, uh, but they're actually quite interesting. And um, so uh, you can see why the seed seedlings will be so close by the plant since the seeds just tumble right onto the ground. And now we'll go to dividing. So, uh, Here's the big piece out, and um, even in full flower, it's okay. And uh, you can just replant this piece or divide it more. So uh, you could probably make several plants out of it, and uh, each of these would turn into a, a new plant. Three little divisions, uh, easy to plant. Tough, they will start uh, spreading very quickly good time to do it this time of the year although the serums could probably divide at any time of the year I 
and perhaps we'll have some seedlings here as well. And as always, remember to water them right away. This is our uh, raised growing bed where um, we grow things from seeds as well as just grow things on. So all of these trilliums were in one of those uh, smaller stages as we show the earlier and uh, you now they grew to this uh, beautiful plants and so these are ready to go into the garden and um, and it will proliferate and and see them. The important thing to consider while buying trillium is the source where they're coming from um, although wild collecting is not illegal the people that do that require permits and then also need to follow their rules how how to do it so um, best thing is actually to buy them from nurseries that grow them from seeds in the nursery or some start doing it fish culture so usually those any of those will be more expensive than the wild collected one but i think it's a good thing to do to support the uh, growing of native plants in the, in the nursery.